This is James with the OneHourSmartHome.com. Thank you for being with us today. And today, we are going to discuss what to do with a Wemo light switch that does not have a neutral wire. We've got a blog post about this, so you can easily reference that in the links below. But let's say you want to install a smart light switch. You bought this Wemo switch off Amazon or wherever else you bought it. And uh, before I get too far, please like and subscribe to this video. You can support us by clicking on any of the links below. Really appreciate that. But let's say you bought a Wemo light switch from Amazon. You're all excited. You've got it ready to go. You're going to go install it. And then you look at it. You open up your switch box and you're like, wait a minute. I've got not enough wires in my junction box. And this Wemo switch has a couple extra wires. What do I do? I don't have a neutral wire for the Wemo light switch. So you got a couple options and we're, and we're gonna go with just one, why you should probably do this right off the bat here. You probably should return this. And why is that? Well, because Wemo light switches do require a neutral wire. And if you don't have a neutral wire, it's gonna be kind of complicated to get a neutral wire in there unless you are very handy or you're an electrician or you just like big projects. You can do it but it's not super easy. And we'll explain why here. So, a Wemo light switch is like this wiring diagram over here. It requires a neutral wire. This is a light switch diagram showing a light switch and how it would be wired in a newer home, typically after 1980, if your home is built after 1980. It should most likely have a neutral wire in the junction box, which is this here, which is the box that goes behind these light switches that is in your wall. And in a typical setup with a neutral wire in a newer home, typically built after 1980, you would have a hot wire coming in, this H wire. You would then have an L wire, this load wire, which would go to your light fixture. And from the light fixture, you would then have a white wire, typically a neutral wire. They would come back through this junction box, this switch wire, or this switch box, and you would have three wires in your switch box, which would be enough for a Wemo light switch, okay? But if you're here, it's because you don't have this. You have a lighting system without a neutral. Your light system does not have a neutral. You probably only have two wires going in and out. You've got a hot and you've got a load wire. The hot brings the power in, the load wire takes it to the light, and then from there it goes most likely to other lights in the circuit, and it then goes to a neutral wire and that neutral wire doesn't come back through the junction box or the switch box. It just goes straight back to the circuit breaker. And that's very common on houses older than 1980 or if someone did a DIY electrical job or if someone was doing a renovation and they didn't follow current code, you might end up with this situation where you do not have a neutral wire in your switch box. So if that is the case, you would have to do a lot of work to add a neutral wire which is an option if you really want to use these Wemo switches. But what that would require is you running a new neutral wire, most likely opening up your walls and pulling it to the switch box and then pulling it back to whatever circuit or whatever circuit breaker you needed. And you're probably gonna open up walls or you're gonna to have to fish uh, electrical wire through conduit. And it's just a messy process. And unless you're doing a renovation, I would not recommend that. You, you don't want to do that. So. You, you don't want to add a neutral wire unless you absolutely have to, you're doing a major re renovation. Or if you're building a new home, you already have to do this anyways. Uh, so I've returned the Wemo light switch. And then you got really two more options here. You've got option two, you could use smart light bulbs, or you could use a Lutron cassette light switch. And both these two would achieve a very similar effect, but one of them will give you pretty much exactly what you're looking for with the Wemo light switch. And that's this Lutron cassette smart switch which we've got here. But we're gonna talk about this smart light bulb option a little bit so that you have an idea of what you could do if you're a big DIYer and you don't wanna go through wiring something up. Even though this does not require a neutral wire, you can wire this up with no neutral wire, just wanna emphasize that. You could get smart light bulbs like the Philips Hue smart light bulbs, which we're gonna have links to those below in the description. And you could just take out your old light switch or you leave the old light switch in, excuse me, you could just take out your old light bulb, screw in a Philips Hue light bulb, and now you are going to have smart home control from your phone and app, and with a 
Alexa, they've got full Alexa and Google Home compatibility, so you can control them with your voice, and you would have a smart lighting system. Now, the only downside to this is that you still have the switch on the wall that is connected to your light switch. So if somebody turns off that light switch, your Philips Hue bulb will not be getting power and it will not work at all because it requires power to work. But if you have power, you can use a Philips Hue light bulb to achieve a lot of the same things that you're looking for with the Wemo light switch, but you don't have to do anything other than screw in a light bulb. Now there's a couple ways that you can get around the conundrum with the light switch turning on and off uh, at the wall. You could just, there's some devices on Amazon, we'll, we'll include a link to those below, that allow you to secure the light switch in the up position so that nobody can turn it off. And then you can also get a remote with the Philips Hue light bulbs that's uh, very similar to this. And that will allow you to use it just like a light switch on the wall. You just peel and stick it next to where the old light switch is, or you could do it even right on top of it. And you press it and it will work just like a normal light switch. And those batteries last, I don't know, anywhere from five to 10 years. Um, very reliable, works well. But the only disadvantage to that is that the Philips Hue system requires that you have white Wi-Fi bulb, sorry, not Wi-Fi, you have a working Wi-Fi network, so you could be in a situation where you have your Philips Hue bulbs on and you're trying to go to sleep and the Wi-Fi goes out and now all of a sudden you cannot control your smart light bulbs, which could be a pain for some of you trying to go to sleep. So that's one downside to that. Now, if you wanted basically to replicate your Wemo installation with a high quality switch, you could use these Lutron Cassetta switches. And these Lutron Cassetta switches, we've got one here. You can see on the back, they only have two wires. They've got a hot wire and a load wire. So they fall into this no neutral category. They will work without a neutral. What is this other wire? This is just a standard grounding wire. This is not part of the circuit. This is just to protect you. This is uh, pretty much every circuit should have these or any kind of electrical device. It's a grounding wire. It's not for carrying current unless there's a fault. So you only have two wires here. You need the hot and the load, okay? So this will work in a light switch configuration without a neutral. And what I like about these switches is that they are dimmer switches. And uh, you can turn them on and off by clicking the buttons here at the top and the bottom, or the bottom and the top. And then you can dim them by pressing these light switches or these uh, adjustment tabs right here. So you got to on, off, or you can bright, adjust the brightness and dimmer with this. And these are really simple to install. Uh, one less wire than the Wemo light switch. So very simple to install this cassette light switch. And what's nice about this, unlike the Philips Hue, is that even if your Wi-Fi network's not working, this will just work like a normal light switch. It'll revert to just being a normal dimmer, which you would control uh, with these buttons here for on and off and the dimming functionality. It doesn't require Wi-Fi to work. It'll just work like a normal light switch when you have no Wi-Fi network. But when you do have a Wi-Fi network, it will allow you to turn it on and off from the app. This also works with Google Home and Alexa. Uh, it's a great light switch, very reliable. Lutron is a brand that has been around for a long time and they use them a lot in high-end uh, commercial buildings uh, for lighting systems high-end homes get these a lot. And it's actually not too pricey. They've got these on Amazon. We'll include a link to that below. I recommend that you pick up these exact ones that we've got the link to because you can't accidentally order the wrong thing with the neutral and then you'll wonder what I was talking about. So you wanna make sure that you get the exact light switch that we recommend without a neutral wire if you are trying to install this in a system that does not have a neutral wire. Now, one last thing about these. Uh, they do have a couple of the nice features that I really like is uh, you can use these little remotes right here. So you can make a three-way switch with any of these light switches with one of these remotes. And basically this just peels and sticks on the wall. You can actually put it in a uh, cover plate just like a normal built-in cover plate is very thin profile. And it would look like you had a built-in three-way switch. So if you wanted to add a three-way switch to your house, and you also want to have a smart switch, this is an awesome option because you can basically make the three-way switch without any additional wiring, which is just, I think, a, a really great thing for a lot of you DIY people out there. Uh, the other thing is that this does require a hub. You can fit up to 50 light switches on one hub. If you go over that device maximum, uh, just get another hub and you'll be able to go to 100.
100 and you can go on from there. But uh, if you've got a house that needs more than 100 lights, which is props to you, that's awesome. Thanks for watching and please reach out to us if you want us to help you out with your uh, 100 light switch home. We can definitely hook you up with that. But uh, that is pretty much all. That is what I would do if I had a Wemo light switch and I wanted smart home control, but I didn't have a neutral wire, okay? That is how I would solve the issue and get myself smart home lighting control. So thanks for watching. This is onehoursmarthome.com. Please like and subscribe to this video. We hope this was helpful and you can support us by clicking on any links below. So please do that. It doesn't take uh, but a second of your time and it does help us support us and make great content. So thank you and we will see you next time.